Good morning. It's Friday, September 11th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Marriage of Kindness and Integrity. And our scripture is from Proverbs chapter 11 and Ephesians chapter 4. The proverb writer says, The Lord detests people with crooked hearts, but he delights in those with integrity. And then Paul, the writer of Ephesians, writes, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. About the following story, occasionally in my reading I come across a good story that illustrates biblical truth. Today's story is someone else's, but for the life of me, I cannot recall where I read it or how I came by it. My apologies to the author. Here's the story. An old man meets a young man who asks, Do you remember me? The old man says, No. Then the young man tells him he was his student, and the teacher asks, What do you do? What do you do in life? The young man answers, Well, I became a teacher. Ah, how good, like me? asked the old man. Well, yes, in fact, I became a teacher because you inspired me to be like you. The old man, curious, asked the young man at what time he decided to become a teacher. And the young man tells him the following story. One day, a friend of mine, also a student, came in with a nice new watch. And I decided I wanted it, and I stole it. I took it out of his pocket. Shortly after, my friend noticed and immediately complained to our teacher, who was you. Then you went to the class. This student's watch was stolen during classes today. Whoever stole it, please return it. I didn't give it back because I didn't want to. Then you closed the door and told us all to get up and you were going to search our pockets one by one until the watch was found. But you told us to close our eyes, because you would only look for his watch if we all had our eyes closed. So we did, and you went from pocket to pocket. When you went through my pocket, you found the watch and took it. You kept searching everyone's pockets, and when you were done, you said, Open your eyes, we have the watch. You didn't tell me, and you never mentioned the episode. You never said who stole the watch either. That day, you saved my dignity forever. It was the most shameful day of my life. But this is also the day my dignity was saved, and I decided not to become a thief, a bad person, etc. You never said anything, nor even scolded me, nor took me aside to give me a moral lesson. I received your message clearly. And thanks to you, I understood what a real educator needs to do. Do you remember this episode, Professor? And the professor answers, I remember the situation, the stolen watch, which I was looking for in everyone's pocket, but I didn't remember you, because I also closed my eyes while looking. This is the essence of teaching. If to correct, you must humiliate, You don't know how to teach. For you today, the measure of integrity is defined by paying attention to what is kind. People who have been forgiven by a God who chooses to not remember their sins know enough to marry their integrity to kindness. That's what the writer of Hebrews meant. This is the new covenant I will make with my people on that day, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. Then he says, I will never again remember their sins and lawless deeds. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day in God's light.